What's up guys? And here and as you can see we are currently on PTCGO in 2019. So I'll do a quick little explanation of this. When we had to drop off our deck techs and battle frontiers, a lot of you guys were extremely disappointed at that. And that's not something we want for you guys. So while we can't exactly bring it back, we're going to do our best here by bringing it back with PDCGO style and see how you guys like it. And we'll just go on from there based on how you guys feel about it. So today we're going to be showing a Zoark Glaceon deck for standard and we're going to be doing some battles with it. So go ahead and take a look at the main pieces here. First, let's take a look at the EV. This is the one you want to use right here. It has energy evolution, attaching a basic energy. You get to search your deck for an EV Lucian and evolve directly, even on your first turn. So that's really, really good. Really glad they brought this back from Furious Fist. Love it. And Glaceon right here. Amazing card. So it's in water type. And the ability freezing gaze is what makes it really good. As long as the Pokemon is your active, your Pokemon, your your opponent's Pokemon. GX and EX have no abilities whatsoever. So it works as kind of a pseudo Garbodor. Actually more of a pseudo Wobbuffet would be the more correct term. But it applies only to your opponent, but it's only in their EX and GX, which is really good still, because there's a lot of Pokemon right now that are GX that have really powerful abilities, especially top of the layers. Being able to shut that off turn one is amazing. And its attacks aren't too bad either. It's got Frost Bullet here and Polar Spear, both for a Water and two Colorless. Frost Bullet does 90 and 30 damage to one of your opponent's bench. Polar Spear does 50 for each damage counter on your opponent's active Pokemon. So even with the sniping damage on the bench, you could definitely take a one-hit KO with the Polar Spear. And as we guys know, Zoark probably the biggest card in Standard right now, for very good reason. Just trade and Riot is beating are too amazing. You pitch a card to draw two for trade, and 20 for each Pokemon in play. Really, really powerful. And of course, we've got Tapu Lele to search supporters, of course. We also have one copy of Deoxys in here, just as a non-GX attacker. Psychic is a pretty good move. Double colorless, 20, and 20 more for each energy into your opponent's active. And we also run the Marsha out here, just for some hand disruption on our opponents. It basically acts as a judge when we play it. We both have to sh shuffle and draw four. But you're not wasting your supporter with this, so really, really cool. And of course, we got four copy of Cynthia, two good, seven water, and the four DCE. And of course, Lily. Just gonna show off our stables here quickly. Guzma, Aqua Patch for our Glaceon. Now we run two Cuckoo in here. That's not something you see too often, but Zoark Dex, it is a good thing because it helps boost the damage of your right is beating. So the trick is here to play the Cuckoo with a full bench with your Zoroark, attach a choice band to let it do 30 more damage, and you have Devoured Field for the 10 more damage, so it does 120, that's 150, with the Kukui is 170, and with the extra 10 from Devoured Field, it, that is 180 you're doing with a Riot is beating. So, definitely hitting the one hit knockouts on a lot of things here. But, I've talked about this deck long enough, as I said, it's going to be both profiles and battles. So let's go ahead and do some battles with it. All right, let's get a start of our first battle of 2019, guys. I'm pretty excited, definitely excited indeed. And hopefully it doesn't take too long. Oh, there we go. That's what I like to see, quick, quick, quick. That guy has a pumpkin head. I respect that. I respect you, Zep, Zep Ditto the pumpkin head. I like that. All righty, and we lost the coin flip, no biggie. Ooh, definitely no biggie. I do not hate this hand whatsoever. Let's go ahead and bench both our Eevees. Ooh, a Poiple. So, probably... Oh, this is definitely Bless I like. I saw the Psychic, but I didn't kind of quite make out the fire during the intro thing. But, yeah, we're definitely facing Bless here. Which, that'll be interesting. But Cephamon is arguably the best standard deck right now. So, let's see what we can do. Okay, so we get attaching energy to the Poiple. That's most likely going to be a plus. Yep, there's a, his Bless Cephamon. Then he's going to play a, li a Lily for eight. Oh, that's scary. That is very scary. Mysterious Treasure. He's going to get another Poiple. 
That is terrifying. Man, he already has so much to work with. So definitely gonna have to do that. And even though we have type advantage here, Placephamon's a really quick deck, so we gotta do everything we possibly can to make sure that we could just slow him down quick enough. And we do have our Marsh Shadow, thank goodness. Being able to take down that hand even by a little bit will help us out in the long run. Let's go ahead and nest ball for the Zora. And we're going to go ahead and play the Marsh Shadow. Alright. This is actually a pretty solid hand. Will not lie, this is a pretty solid hand indeed. Um, let's go ahead and get another Acrobike. That might have been a mistake now that I think about it. Oh, no, it was not. Okay. I can definitely live with this. Let's go ahead and get a tap of Lele. Let's get our Lily. Because since that was one of Marsha, we have not yet used our supporter for the turn. And we're not drawing for eight, but still being able to draw six off the bat, that's pretty good. I have no complaints on that. And it's about as good as we're going to get turn one. I don't quite want to bench that Eevee just yet. I want to save that for another Lele if we can. And let's hope the Marsh Shadow at least bought us another turn. Alright, so he's going to retreat. He attached for turn. Ultra Space, dang. That's not good. However, though, he's going to use his charging up. Hmm. If he doesn't have an end, let's see here. Oh, he has Cynthia too. Ooh. All right. If he doesn't do anything else, like no energy switch or anything like that, we have at least one more turn. So if, we, if I could get a DCE, I could knock out this Blasphem on here for sure. So. Man. If I didn't know any better, I'd say that Marsh shot almost helped him. All right, just don't, just don't have an energy switch. Please don't have an energy switch. Okay, he doesn't, so he's just got a bursting burn. All right, we're still confused. That's not the best, really. But not very much we can do right now. Hmm. Got no choice but to just go for a Cynthia and hope for a DCE. All right, so we got the DCE. Question is, can we get a heads? Do I want to? Do I want to risk all of that just to knock out that stuff? No, I kind of have to. I kind of have to risk it. All right, so Frost Bullet, come on, please. Oh no! No! Oh man! That is not good. Not good at all. He's gonna go for another charge. That was a beast energy, wasn't it? Aw, oh, man. Our opponent is just drawing insanely this game. Yeah, a mind blown here will definitely knock me out. He doesn't even have to pitch anything from his Blasphemon either. He would just need to get rid of the energies there from his Naganadels to do it. Alright, so he's gonna take a knockout here. He has a heat factory. So we have a devoured field somewhere, so we could bump that. Alright, so we have an aqua patch in hand. I think our best bet's gonna be to be to bring up the Zora. Alright, so gonna play the Aqua Patch. Let's go ahead and also play a Cynthia. Alright, good. Hey, let's go into the Rainbow Bear. Let's 
go ahead and pitch to Cynthia. Draw two. Acro bike. Ooh, devoured field. Nice. See, so my my opponent has two fire energies in there. All right, so let's go ahead and just rise being for 140. And mm, see, so he's got two in there, so he'll definitely all the charging up again, knock us out again. The problem is just those Naganadels. Thing is so insane. Yep, now I mean, Yeah, I'll be honest, I'm not I'm not sure if this is gonna be our game. Not sure, but you know what? We're gonna do our best. Because I I'm not a quitter. I don't believe in quitting these kind of games, especially if it's a good one like this. Sophic oh Sophocles, that's interesting. Oh, and he has a Technogandel GX in there. Makes sense. I mean, everything's an Ultra Beast, so why not? Huh. It's just I haven't normally seen the lists with that, but nonetheless, that's pretty interesting. And my opponent currently has no fire energy in his drop. So... Alright. If we get... If we get what we need, this could be good for us. Trade, get rid of that. Need, need another DCE. Come on, DCE. Oh, man. Come on, Kukui. No! Oh, man. No! That's not good. That's not a good. He just has to, yep, this is his game. All he has to do is just pitch everything. That was not our game. Oh well. No biggie. Oh, he's gonna drag it out. Eh, let's let's just concede. He already won. Like it's one thing to just let him win, but he's still just gonna drag it out like that. Nah. No need for you guys to sit through that. So let's go ahead and go into our next game here. And I have a feeling we'll have much better luck this time. All right, guys, had to make a short little cut there. For some reason, it is very difficult to get opponents today. I don't know if that's something to do with the maintenance that occurred, or on the day of recording, I'm actually recording on New Year's Day, so this is, the server might be overloaded or just not many people on. So I'm not really, I don't know for sure. It's definitely interesting though. And we start with a Marsh Shadow. Oh man, that's like the worst thing we could start with. You know what? We'll make it work. We'll make this work. Alright, so I see a Slugma and a Ditto. This could be many things. Pokenav. Top three. Reveal an energy. So, oh, it's a Pokemon or an energy. I haven't actually used that card yet, but it's pretty good. Look at your top three for a Pokemon or energy, then you get to put back the cards in any other order. So that's definitely pretty good. So. Ah, the Ultra Ball, though. Dang. That Ultra Ball for a Lele would have helped us a lot. Or we can just go to Cynthia. I'm definitely game for that, too. Now, let's get this. I don't want to pitch a DCE. I was hoping for a Pokemon, but oh well. Let's go ahead and Cynthia. Oh, beautiful. Yes, we are definitely going to energy evolution. Let's go ahead and get our Glaceon out here. And we pass. All right, so let's see what my opponent's gonna do. If it's my cargo, as I said, it could be many different things. I see a lot of decks messing around with the man cargo engine. Speaking of man cargo, there it is. That's the Nanji. I can smooth over. I see a lady. Hmm. Wonder if he has my cargo GX in his hand. Because that would definitely be interesting. So he's going to use smooth over. My, the opponent probably has an acrobike at least. 
Or if not, he's just doing that for next turn. It would really suck for him if he has to do that just for next turn. Because we already got a bunch we could do for on next turn. So Stampede for 20. Wow, he's not drawing good. Poor opponent is not drawing good. Alright, so let's go ahead and trade away that energy. Two, I'm really hoping we get a DCE. Alright, Acrobike. DCE. Ah, just Ultra Balls. Dang. It's not cool. That is so not cool. Let's go ahead and Ultra Ball. Wait, what? We don't have any Tapu Lele? What madness is this? I pitched a Lily for that. Oh no! We do not seriously have our Tapu Lele's prized. No! Wow! That is insane! I can I honestly cannot believe that. That is crazy. All right, there's the man cargo. I actually really want him to knock out this Mars Shadow, so I can get my Glaceon up there already. If I could just get a DCE, that thing's good as knocked out. Well, if I have a choice, Ben. Oh wow, did he really get the fire energy from that discard? Nice! You don't see that too often. Alright, there we go. So Marshall's knocked out. Just gonna bring up the Glaceon. And let's go ahead and trade away our Guzma. Come on, DCE, DCE. Yes! Beautiful, and we got the Kukui too, so that's definitely gonna be a knockout this turn. Alright, Nest Ball. We have two, uh, let's go ahead and take out another Eevee. Alright, so Frost Bullet. Alright. Talk about a clutch Kukui. Alright, so we got our Zoe working on Devoured Field. Perfect. Perfect, perfect. All right, let's see who my opponent draws into. All right, so he's got a Heat Factory. That's definitely gonna help him. Man, that, that hand is ridiculous. Oh, and he surrenders. Oh, all right. That big of a hand and he had to surrender. I, I don't have much to say on that other than rip. Poor guy. I actually feel bad for him. All right, so that was a really quick one. We could do one more. We could do one more game. I'm not normally going to do three games in these videos. It all just depends on how quick the, they go. All right, so... Oh, my opponent's got a wide variety of things there. Pretty interested to see what that could be. And we won the coin flip again. All right, definitely going to start here. And Zoroar start with a Tapu Lele in hand. Okay. I can definitely get behind this start. Especially the fact that we're going first. Oh, absolutely. Alrighty, so we can just get a start with the Zora there. Let's select the next starting Pokemon. Like was Guardian Rising Sleeves. Those are, yeah, those are our Pokemon League. Not bad. Not bad. Yes, let me bench that Tapu Lele. Yeah, that's totally gonna happen. And, oh, my poor opponent. I I feel you, man. I feel you. That was literally us last game, guys. Ooh, let's pay some respects for that poor man right there. Um, gonna go for a Cynthia. There's no way I can pitch my hand enough to where a Lele would be a Lily. A Lily would be really good. Acro bike. Let's definitely do that. I am all up for it. I 
And now that I'm looking at this, I almost want to keep this hand. Yeah. I wasn't thinking about it before, but... I actually, yeah, I actually want to keep that hand. It's pretty good. I get to go into a Zoark next turn. I get to trade for cards. Just Cynthia for more, and... That's a spell tag, I see. Interesting. Do you want some... Wait a minute. Is this what I think it is? I wonder if this is what I think it is. My opponent's searching for a lot of tool cards. Oh, is this a Rodom deck? Please tell me this is a Rodom deck. Ooh, sad face. Sad, sad face. Alrighty, so let's go ahead and evolve into the Zoark. Go ahead and trade. Set up the Devoured Field. Let's go ahead and... Profess... Mm, let's get the... Yeah, let's get that one. We already have Professor Kukui. And that wasn't really much, so let's just Cynthia. Oh, what? We didn't get the double colorless. Oh, man, my opponent. Oh, he, he lives, guys. He lives another turn. That is crazy. Like, we did not get a single double colorless at all. My opponent lives. Now, now we're going to see if what I thought is true. Like... Is he really playing the spicy Rotom deck? Alright, so is he gonna just pitch his entire hand and draw five? Yes, he is! Oh, the draw four. So how many tools is that? That's one, two, three, four, five, six. Ah, oh, he's three short. Three tools short. All right, what's he gonna do? Is he gonna Ultra Ball? Is he gonna pitch two more tools? All right, he pitched the Guzman on another tool. I'm like 90% sure this is a Rotom deck now. A Blitzel. This could still be Rotom. Because you pitch your hand and draw four with the Zep Striker. So it could still definitely be that. Oh, now we get our Double Colorless. Now it wants to give us what we want. I'm gonna go ahead and pitch those two for another Zoark. <laughs> and we're just gonna play the Cynthia. Benjamin Zora. Little trade away oh, water energy. So we got Aqua Pass that we could just attach it with. that and I see no reason to do another trade so let's just write his beating to knock out that poor little Mars Shadow and we're gonna get the four damage counters from spell tag that's interesting though because like, that's like one of the two decks I've ever seen that on like I've ever seen spell tag at Rodom and the Garatina kind of oh you can put on your opponent's Pokemon any way you like I never knew that I thought it was just you put four damage counters your opponent's active I didn't know you could spread it like that. Wow, that's that's really interesting. That is very interesting. Let's see, counter gain. Wait. I saw a Grand Bull. Wait, is my opponent playing Grand Bull? And he gets to just sprint for four. Not having to pitch anything. Okay, yep, there is the Rotom. Wait, didn't he meet his tool requirement? One. That's five, six, seven, eight. Nine. Yes, he did. He met his tool requirements. Yes, we get to see the Rotom deck. <laughs> I actually play this deck quite a bit when I'm just having fun on PDC Joe. It's, it's such a fun deck. Basically, all the Rotoms have an ability. It's where if you have nine or more tools, you ignore all energy costs. For their attacks. So that's brilliant. Ah oh, yes, I am so happy right now. 
I'm so happy I get to face off against the Rotom deck. So let's go Nest Ball here. Let's get another Eevee. Yeah, wait. Well, we have another. Okay, we have Rescue Stretcher for the other Glacier. I only have a Glacier in my hand. What am I doing? Uh, I got too caught up in just the excitement of playing Rotom. And there's our Deoxys. All right, this will be interesting. This will be interesting because he just attacks everything for free now. He has Sightseer that he's going to draw cards with. He's got the Seb Striker to help him draw. All right, so we should see two of the of the second Rodom here. All yeah, right, so he's got a sprint. I actually never thought of putting Zip Striker in my well. I did think about it, but I wasn't sure about the room. That's interesting that he's playing multiples of the second Rodom though, because I only play one of each Rodom except for the Frost and the Fan one, because those are like the two most the two most powerful ones in my opinion. The fan being able to put 20 everywhere and the frost just doing 10 and there's 20 more for each energy your opponent has in play. So to me, those are the ones you want to max out on. Everything else is like a one-off for situations. Alright, so we see a plasma slice for 130. Let's go ahead and evolve. I'm gonna go ahead and trade here. I want to draw into a Guzma. So, oh perfect, perfect, perfect. We're going to set up a Glacier on this turn. Now we'll actually bring out a Glacier on. Alright, so we got to get that Sub Striker. That Sub Striker is key. Alrighty, so we're in a good spot here. So even if he retreats, the 30 will do from the Frost Bear onto the bench will definitely be more than enough. TV reporter, huh. I've never seen that in a Rotom deck either, but you know what? That's the beauty of Rotom, just, just so many cool things. And I see a counter gain. Cost a colorless less, ooh. It's attaching it to the... Does he have Tech Alolan Ninetales GX in this? Question mark? That'd be very interesting. Alright, so we're definitely going to see another Plasma Slice here. I'm curious as to why he maxes out on this one specifically. And why not the Frost Rotom? Oh, wait. So we see a little of Nine Tails there right now, but not the Ice type. It's the Fairy type. So does my opponent run Fairy Energy in here? Let's check. I saw... Wait, there was a Grand Bolt there too, so he must... He must run some fairy energy. All right, let's go ahead and attach another DCE. Let's trade. And really, there's nothing really else we need. So we're just gonna take two prizes off of that. So we draw another Eevee, nice. And for the sub striker, what are we gonna get? We got a uh, Cynthia. All right, Pro we got three Zoro workouts, so it's not like we're gonna need it. We really don't need anything else from here. My opponent's got the Vulpix forward. I'm surprised he didn't put this one forward to try and go into his Alola Nine Tails. Even though he won't get the ability, he'll still get the damage done. Or he has a Guzma. That works too. Uh, the only thing that sucks though is I'm probably going to attach a retreat, which I don't want to do. I really would rather not do that. But okay, but I get why. So now he's going to go into his alone nine tails, and now he gets to search his items. Oh, I'm surprised he didn't evolve this turn. I'm really surprised he didn't evolve. That's pretty shocking. Alright, so we definitely have to try to go for a Guzma. 
Because I do not want him to. There we go. Because attacking with a low on nine tails for a single fairy. Nah, -uh. not about that. Let's just do a quick trade. Let's see if there's anything else here I can get. No, not really. So we'll just ride his beating for knockout. I'm sorry, Vulpix. I feel kind of because I love that Vulpix so much, but a, a single fairy energy attacking a Lola Nine Tails, regardless if it's the fairy or the ice. Yeah, those, those aren't good for me. Those are not good for me. This is what, this has been a very interesting like version of Rotom. Because I've seen some tech Pokemon here and there. Like I said, I've kind of heard of with Zep Striker, but I know that's also like very just room issue. But let's see here. We got one prize left. Let's see if he can get into his Alola Nine Tails. If he can get into a Alola Nine Tails, he'll survive another turn. Because yeah, I'm pretty sure that's all the Guzma I've got. As a matter of fact, I'm as a matter of fact, I'm pretty positive that's the all the Guzma I have. Get, get it mixed up sometimes, because like, sometimes I run four, sometimes I run three Guzma. It also depends on the deck in general. Alright, so he's gonna shuffle those three Pokemon back. That's good, because he was on the verge of decking that map. We're, go we're looking pretty close ourselves here, guys. Alright, so he did evolve into the Alone Nine Tails. He's gonna search for two items. If he has any items left to search, with only ten cards left. But if he has a Cavern Gain of Fairy Energy, he can actually start doing some damage to us. Luckily, he can't knock out anything on the bench, though. So that's definitely good. Because that needs 40 damage to be knocked out, and this needs 50. So we're good right now. We're good on that. Alright, so he got his items back. He's gonna play a pal pad. Let's see what he's played. Oop! Oh, I missed it. Missed the items he got, dang it. And stadium. Wow! How many times am I gonna mess that up? Supporters. Well, I literally said every time a trainer card except the correct one. What is wrong with you, Wayne? Let me see. Ooh, Marsh Shadow. Oh! Interesting. Well played, sir. Well played. Oh, well. We've got three Zoark. Not like we need him. Vandy, he just helped us. He just stopped us from decking out sooner. That's literally all he did. We have all the draw power we could possibly need. So I'm definitely not worried on that. Only thing is, we're definitely not taking a knockout this turn. And since he's resistant, uh, so I hate to do it, but I'm probably going to have to hard retreat into my Glaceon. And there's a Guzma. Uh, oh boy, there's a Guzma. But that's alright, though. That is quite alright. Guys, we've won. I'm really surprised he did that. Because he basically just handed us the game there. All right, there we go. At the end, we knock out a very interesting Rotom deck. All right, so that was our final battle there. So thank you very much for you guys for joining me for this video here today. If you like, be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you're new to the channel. And let me get, guys, let me know what you all think of this all new video series here. Like, it's gonna be our best shot to try to bring back the deck techs and the battles. But, it's like I said, it's just going to be more of this fashion. PTCGO, doing online regular matches. Something else I also plan to do as well, which I'll probably be doing a lot of, is going... Oh, wow. They're, well, they're, they're doing many on tournaments right now of recording, but I do want to like show you guys tournaments as well. So, definitely have a lot in store for you guys with this. So, again, let me know your honest opinion down in the comment section down below. What you all think of this. And hopefully we can do a lot more of these in the future. So, thank you all for watching here today. You all have a fantastic day. And let's start off 2019 right.